Hey everyone, welcome to Adobe Live. I am your host, Katrina Trijos, and I'm here with a very special guest today, Megan Billy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining this morning. Yeah, I'm so excited because Megan will be designing and leading today's session about how to create marketing or level up your marketing with generative yep. AI in Adobe Express. Yes. Um, but before we get into it, just want to say hi to everyone in chat. Hello, Drew. Hi, Booty Val. Hi, Robert. Hi, Clever. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Katarina. So whether you're watching on YouTube or being hands, we are watching both chats today. Just feel free to hang out and yeah, just have a good time. Um, and also, if you're brand new here, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow Adobe Live on Instagram for more content just like this. All right, that's my intro. Are you ready to do this, Megan? I'm ready. Thanks for the intro. <laughs> um, so for context, everyone, we're talking a lot today about marketing materials and how to create them in Adobe Express. Uh, my background, I actually work for the community team for the Adobe Live team here doing all of the marketing. So I have a lot of experience working in Express doing exactly this, creating marketing material for both social media, for advertisements, flyers, emails, you name it, I create it in Adobe Express. <laughs> so we can just go ahead and start by jumping into Adobe Express. So we'll share my screen. Um, and today we're gonna start by making a flyer. After we make the flyer, we're going to take that flyer and change it into a few different ad types that we can use on social media or maybe in like an advertisement campaign. But I like to start with the flyer because that's something that all businesses need is a flyer. Uh, and then you can kind of change the size from there. Um, we are going to be marketing a spring sale today for my boutique. And just disclaimer, this boutique is not real. Um, I have made it up. And it has the very creative name of Billy Boutique, which is my last name. Uh, if you have a cr more creative name chat, I would love to hear it because I am not a creative person. I am a marketer. <laughs> so that's the best I've got for you. So anyone in the chat, Voodoo Val, Drew, who else? Dennis, if you have better names for me, please, please <laughs> help. So I am going to start by showing you all my brand kit. So one of the best um, features for me in Adobe Express as a marketer is these brand kits that you can set up so that making your content is just a little bit easier. Um, a lot of marketers work with designers. So we probably have a ton of designers on the stream today, as well as people who might be small business owners or marketers or social media people. This is a great way to work with those creative people and the marketing people um, together to create great content. So if you come into here, I've started to set up my brand kit. You can see I have some graphics that I'll use in our flyer later. I've picked these colors based on some of the artwork that I've seen out there that I think represents this brand. Um, but as you can see, it's not totally complete. I have my fonts here that I'll use, but I don't have any logos. Again, chat, if you, during this experiment, want to design me a logo, please, I would love that. Um, and we can add it to my brand kit. Um, but this is just what the brand kits look like to start out. Wanted to show you this because this is like a marketer's dream, having everything here laid out for you, exactly how it should look. And then you even get a preview over here of what your brand will look like. Before we get into designing, I wanted to show just one quick tip in Illustrator. Um, working across the apps is super easy, which is what I love about this. Um, so this is a graphic panel that I actually just downloaded from Adobe Stock. So I licensed it from Adobe Stock and then opened it up in Illustrator. And I want to add a few of these pieces to my brand kit because they're not all in here right now. Um, if you haven't guessed it, my boutique has kind of this like Western vibe, uh, going for like Western modern cowboy boots, but still being on trend, trendy. So I like we'll get into that later. <laughs> um, but I really like this buffalo. I went to CU Boulder, so SCO Buffs, if you also went to CU Boulder, comment in the chat, we can be friends. Um, but I am just going to add this to my libraries so that it will show up in my brand kit. So when I come into my libraries over here, this is super simple, pushing Billy Boutique, which is my brand. And then I'm going to go down here to the ad. How do we do this? Oh, we got it. Got it. 
download it or um, highlight it first. So highlight this little buffalo, and then I can just add this graphic Ooh. in there. And then it will show up there, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this little buffalo, highlight it, add the graphic, and then if I go over here, there they are, right in Adobe Express. That's so, quick. Yeah, it's super nice, and a lot of times if you're not a designer, your designer or your um, graphic designer that you're working with can actually just save them in there for you. So if I'm working with someone like Andrew Hawk Rattle, he's helping me design my brand, he can just upload those right away and I'll see them reflected as I start designing my flyer. Cool. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat. Would love to answer them. But I am gonna start my project from scratch here and we're gonna go flyers. Like I mentioned, we're going to be marketing a spring sale that's going on at my boutique. And I want to start by having this flyer that I'm going to hang up in coffee shops, all over the office, so everyone can buy my stuff. <laughs> Wherever it may be, I want to print this flyer to spread the word about my sale. Um, so because I don't have any where to start, I'm not a designer like I've mentioned a few times, I'm going to start with a template. I love this feature in Adobe Express because it just makes it really easy. Um, to design something really aesthetically pleasing without taking too much of my time. So I'm gonna go down here to the flyer templates and it pulls up a ton of different flyers. Definitely need chat or you to help me pick one. So if you see one, let me know, but I'm actually gonna type in sale, oops, because this is what we're trying to convey is the sale. All right, chat, Katrina, let yes. me know what you see. Oh my gosh. When I pick templates, I literally close my eyes and then stop. There's so many. <laughs> you could go, you could scroll all day, I feel like. Okay, wait. I actually I like this one, even though it's very not on brand for my stuff. That so cute. I really like that it has this pictures that we can replace with stuff that mm. are my pictures. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to keep that for now and just put in my brand colors. So I'm gonna go back here to, where is it, your stuff, brands and libraries, and then there we, I have um, all of my brand colors and all of my graphics and my font. So I'm just gonna go in here and go back to my brand and see what this font is. Eight heavy. Nice. Can I just apply this? Uh, yep. Becky Hicks had a question. So if you have colors and fonts in the library, is that where you're pulling it all from or is it? On the brand kit I'm pulling it from the brand kit but you mm -hmm. could do it from your libraries if you do have like libraries I do have this is a library that I have for some assets that I create for Adobe live that I've gotten from a designer um, so I have that library I haven't set that library up as a brand mm -hmm. um, but it is in there so I could do that this is just because I have set it up as a brand mm -hmm. I'm able to go in there and have everything grouped together but of course libraries works the same way as it does throughout your whole creative cloud membership is you have these libraries nice. for you um, cool so the or excuse me the font that I'm using is this eight heavy so I'm gonna go in here and just change everything to my um, my fonts. And you can see here, it has them already pulled up in my brand kit. So I don't have to go like searching for any of them. They're all right mm -hmm. there. Right. And I can just change it really easily. And then also here, I think that, yes, here we go. It will also have all of my brand colors pulled up. So I can just easily change everything to my brand. This is so easy. I don't know what we're going to talk about for an hour. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy. Yeah. Um, but yes, I'm just going through here and I'm going to be adding all of my brand colors and everything. So while I do that, I can give a quick recap for anyone that just joined. So I am working in Adobe Express on a brand kit or with a brand kit, I should say, to uh, highlight my boutique. We imported some stuff from Illustrator into graphics, and then we're now going through this brand kit, updating a template that we picked to match my brand kit. I think that was a pretty good recap while I'm mm -hmm. doing everything. <laughs> um, okay, so just going through and just picking all of these different colors that are more in line with my brand. 
Mm, what color do we like? I think this is another thing that you could mm -hmm. just do for like days, you know, yeah. it's just like cycle through the colors that you have. I actually like that pink, even though it's not all the way on my brand. I'm going to keep it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so very boring, just going through. It's not boring. <laughs> and updating all of these colors, but it makes it so easy because it's all right there, so I don't even have to, like, search any of these colors. Um, but this is one thing that I do love about Adobe Express. If you did not have brand colors, you could come up to this theme up here, mm -hmm. and then they have all of these colors that look really good together. And, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have a brand color, that could be a really good place to start. Um, in picking out your brand color. So, everything is good. Okay, perfect. So this is up to 50% off. We're gonna keep that because that is the um, discount that we have. And then I'm just gonna update some of this stuff in here to make it my own, www.billyboo. I can never spell boutique. <laughs> it is a catchy name. I like the alliteration. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'm going to leave the rest because this is looking really good to me. Again, all I did was change the colors and the font to match my brand. I am actually going to change this one too. Again, it's right here in my brand kit, so I don't have to go searching for these fonts. Perfect. Okay, now comes the fun part. I am going to get rid of these sneakers because we are not selling sneakers at my boutique. Like I mentioned, <laughs> my boutique is a country western theme, but modern and trendy. Um, so I'm going to add in some of these graphics that I had added into my brand um, kit. And if you look here, it does have this little uh, icon this little linked icon, I would call it. Uh, and what that means is that it is linked to this Illustrator file. Mm -hmm. So say my designer came in here and she was like, this horse is cute, but it needs to be a different color. I'm gonna make her more gray. So she's just a little bit different than everything else on this page. I'm gonna save that and then come over here and it should refresh. Let's do a hard save again. See? Yeah. And sometimes I have people um, refresh the tab. Okay. Let's refresh the tab. And then it'll, it'll pop up at the bottom or something. Hmm. Just give it a second. I'm so impatient. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You're not the only one. I've had folks like like constantly refresh and I'm like, give it a second. I'm sure this Let is like a designer's up. nightmare that I'm emailing like, oh, it hasn't refreshed yet. <laughs> it's been five seconds. No. Anyways, while we let that think, um, I'm going to come over here and to start to generate some stuff. So yeah. like I said, my boutique is Western themed, but I don't have any pictures of my boutique here with me today. I don't have any pictures of the clothes that I'll be selling. So in the meantime, I am going to generate some images just because this is a sales, um, a sale flyer. So we want to show people, you know, what we're selling. So what should we sell at my boutique chat? I need help. If you were going to a trendy yeah. Western boutique, what is something that you would want to see generated? And I don't want it to be something boring like cowboy hat because we have a graphic of a cowboy hat. Not me thinking cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cowboy hats are not boring to be fair. I love cowboy hats. But yeah. I want something crazy like <laughs> boots with rhinestones. That's not even that crazy. But uh -huh. I want something yeah, yeah. like that chat. Let's see. Let's see what you got for me. Yeah, there's boots with rhinestones. Maybe like maybe belts. Okay, belts. Or like um, like jackets with like fringe or something like Ooh, that. Oh, yes. Know. Jackets. I'm with trying to think. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions. Jackets with fringe. Let's do like leather jackets. That's leather. This is the hardest part of streaming, y'all, is typing out on Yo, the screen for everyone. I have the see. same problem with typing and coming <laughs> up with prompts. Let's do red leather with jack red leather jacket with fringe. Let's see what that gives us. Robert said cactus. <laughs> oh. Someone said 
cowboy boots. I'm thinking that means cowboy boots. Ca- like combat cowboy. cowboy boots. I like that. Oh. That's like trendy and also Western. <laughs> okay. I like these a lot. This one looks really good. I don't know why I put it on a pink background. That's very interesting. Let's do... Doesn't this look like fur? No, they're leather jackets. It's leather. <laughs> I actually really like that one. That one's really good. So I am going to, from there, remove the background. I love that it looks like super photorealistic. Like almost like something that I could have taken a picture of at my boutique. Mm -hmm. That's really what I was going for. Mm, I don't like how it's cropped it over here. So I'm going to go back and, okay, that's just how the picture is. But what I'm going to do instead is remove the background and then crop it into a circle. So that Mm -hmm. way it kind of takes like the awkwardness out of those arms over there. Nice. Okay. I really like that. Let's see. Let's do some other stuff. What the chat was saying. Uh, Voodooval says, ladies, I need a black cowboy hat. Okay. Black cowboy hat. I feel like we need to get a little more. Yeah, we need to add stuff. With sunflowers on it. Sunflowers are my favorite flowers. So you'll see that pop up a lot in this flyer that we're making. Okay, black cowboy hat with sunflowers on it. Let's see. It might give you literal sunflowers, but that's okay. I kind of like that. It's cute. (laughs) Well, that's loading. I'm going to send this to the back. So that's super easy to do, too, is you just take it and Mm -hmm. drag it. It did give me actual sunflowers. Nice. I like that. Mm -mm. Okay, but let's bring this here. Sean in uh, chat said a suggestion for the horse. um, Yeah, give it to me. If you you need to change the image in the library and not the file. So maybe you need to, like, re-drag it in. Re-drag it in. That is a good suggestion so let's do that really easy just highlight it add it i'm learning from you i have then we'll go back here i have no idea what we're doing here (laughs) there it is okay cool perfect now we have thanks sean so it stands out a little bit more we'll just put it there for right now okay back to the hat so let's go back here and see what our options were Nope, not generative fill. Nice. So I like that one, but it's not exactly, it looks a little, it's not exactly a black one. So let's go back and see what we can do here. Text image. How do you get, oh, there you go. Text image. Yeah. Okay. So let's regenerate it. Let's say black suede. Oof. That's a tough one. Suede. Oh my goodness gracious. I think it's S S U E D E. D. There we go. Okay, generate. Let's see. I feel like that could be like Beyonce's <laughs> next country song, like Black Suede Cowboy Hat. Oh, I could be. Oh, look okay. At these. Th- this one is super cute. And I again, I love how realistic they look because uh-huh. it does look like something I could have taken a picture of in my store okay i think i'm gonna go with this one and again i'm just gonna remove the background so that it will seamlessly fit into this Mm -hmm. design all right what else does chat got for me we need a few Um, more um caroline said poncho um avery said cowboy head that looks like a duck we already have a cowboy I like that. Um, Robert said horse saddle. <laughs> Mm-mm. Uh, Anthony said like a vest okay. kind of thing. Vest, yes. Vest with bright colors. Bright colored vest. And then Robert said cactus. <laughs> with cactuses on it. Cacti? Cacti. Cacti on it. This is going to be fun. I love a good cacti. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm excited. And for those who are just joining, whether you're watching live or in the replay, Megan is making a flyer for her, for Bill, Billy Boutique? Billy's Boutique? <laughs> Billy's Boutique, <laughs> which is my last name. Yeah, which is her last name. Oh my gosh, look at these. That one is so funny. Oh my gosh, would you come to a I... store that sells this? Way? This one <laughs> is hilarious. I would go into the store just to pet all of them. Are the cactuses prickly on this or are they soft like the fur? Uh. <laughs> you tell me, Chad. I hope, I hope they're soft. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, this is giving cowboy glam. <laughs> okay, I'm really starting to like this. Um, but we need, like, our hero image up here. So what is going to be our hero image for our sale flyer? I really mm – -hmm. I'm, I'm digging this comment, and it's back in the chat somewhere. I can't see – oh, the combat boots. Oh, yes. Cowboy boots that are also combat boots. This is going to be a challenge. Cowboy boots in the style of combat okay. boots. I am so nervous. Let's see what it does. I feel like maybe I need to say something different. My prompting skills might need to be different, but let's see. Oh, hmm. Okay, let's try again. Combat. It might be the word combat. Yeah, it might be. Cowboy boots. You could say like in edgy. green. What color are combat boots? Green, black, and brown? They're like camouflage. Yeah, right? It could be, yeah. Yeah, let's see what this is. Clever said, talk about stuck on you. <laughs> For the cacti. Oh. <laughs> stuck on you. Okay. Nope. Oh, I said cowboy boats. <laughs> so it, did, it, t it gave me what I wanted. Boats. <laughs> That's actually not a bad picture. <laughs> okay, cowboy boots. Let's see. Regenerate. <laughs> I love it. And also, chat, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in chat. We have mods, and I'm also looking at both chats, so any questions, feel free to drop in. I saw some folks were new to Express, so don't be shy. Yes. All right, we can we answer any questions. So these are so cute. <gasps> I love them. So wow. These are definitely going to be our hero image up here. It's crazy how... um how small of a change you made from boots to <laughs> boats. <laughs> boats to boots, <laughs> it changed the whole image. Yes, that is the importance of making sure your prompts are correct. Yes. Uh, okay, so this looks good. This actually looks busy to me. This was just to show you all that it's really easy to link all of your assets, but I'm gonna get rid of her. Um, so we have all of our generated images. You can start to see what kind of vibe this boutique is giving off. But I do want to level this up one more time by changing this into a text effects. Um, this Ooh. is just going to give us a little bit more pop when we look at this. Uh, and it's not a sneaker sale. We're going to say boutique sale. Yes? I-Q-U-E. I-Q-U-E. Wait, <laughs> I Q U E. -E. Yeah. I'm the worst speller ever. Okay, That's so okay. we're gonna come over here to text effects, and then we are going to do something. I mentioned that sunflowers are my favorite flower, so I really want this text effect to be made out of sunflowers, but Ooh. keeping it on our brand. So I'm gonna say pink and mm, purple, because there's a little bit of purple in there, sunflowers. And I want it to be pretty loose, so maybe the sunflowers are kind of going all over the place and realistic. And I'm just gonna hit generate and see what this gives us. This is one of my favorite features because I think doing these like text effects would be so hard. I would never be able to do them and even just hiring someone to do them would mm -hmm. take a really long time. Um, so this is a good, a good way to get this done fast and of course if you have like a more detailed campaign where you can see this a little bit more always great to work with a designer but this is a good quick fix mm -hmm. so that looks pretty good I'll zoom in so you all can see how detailed Ooh. that is so it's really pretty um it looks super realistic and I really like it and I feel like that just sets the vibe of the ad a little bit more so I'm gonna give it a little arc as mm -hmm. well and then I'm gonna give this one an arc so there's a lot that you can do here on Express to make it like even more fun and just kind of bring wow. things to life like I really think you can get super creative on Express once you learn all of the ins and outs of right. what it can do okay I want to do the same thing text effects on this super sale um, but this time I'm going to make it 
what should I do chat? What do we want this super sale to be made out of? The first one is made out of sunflowers, pink and purple sunflowers. Mm -hmm. So what kind of goes well with that? Yeah. And while Chad is submitting their answers, we have a question. Can we import the generated images to Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop? And the answer is if you generate an image into Express, you can save it to your libraries. I think that would be the best way so that you'll be able to open up your project from Express into Illustrator or Photoshop. Yeah. And then vice versa. Anything you generate in Illustrator or Photoshop, save it to your library and then you'll be able to open it up in Express. Great tip. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Cielly asked, how to how do you angle an image? Yeah, that's a good question. So we, they have a lot of um, align tools here. You can see when you start to move things around, there's these little pink lines to help you align things. You can also click up here and it will align things to the top or the center just to make it a little bit easier. Um, but you're asking specifically about the rotate. So there is this little button here at the bottom that looks like a little half circle and you can just push this and it will yeah. allow you to rotate. Also over here, there's a flip image. Um, so maybe you want the boots put it, pushing the other way. You can easily just flip the image there. So it's super easy to do and align things and make sure that they're aligned. So like for example, this box, it will help me align it to like the center of the broader box. It's really smart in knowing that I want it to align with this outline. So yeah, lots of tools to help you make it look really good. Nice. Okay. We didn't get any submissions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did we? <laughs> I didn't look. <laughs> oh, I do see one that says it draws the reader's eye, which I really okay. like. That's what we're mm -hmm. going for here. Um, maybe let's do, okay, so going down to text effect. I'm actually going to turn off the shadows on here. Yeah. You can, turn um, off the you can turn off the shadows. I think this one also, yeah, you can turn off the shadows so that, um, it's a little bit more clear, but if you wanted to add like a shape around it, maybe mm -hmm. we want there to be like a cute Whoa. little thing. I don't know, whatever you want to do. You can play around with how this looks. Um, okay, but super sale. Let's do this out of, what else is country? Let's see what it looks like at, with cowboy boots. Cowboy mm -hmm. boots. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is geez. Um, this is stressful. <laughs> white glamour. You're just going for it. Yeah. White glamour cowboy boots. A text effect. A text effect. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Let's, let's see, see what I've it never does. done this before, so. I think it's fun to just play around. There, it looks really like every time <gasps> I do this, I'm so surprised at how good it looks. That one is really good. Look at this. Wait, it actually made boots. Look at this cute little boot. I would buy that one. And this one is so fun. It's like an upside down one. I really like how Look this at all looks. these hidden boots. This is super fun. And again, super quick and easy. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have my. Okay, I'm not loving this. Uh, effect okay. so i'm gonna go back super easy to change it um make it fit into this box and you'll see it will like regenerate based on how i'm positioning it just give it a second and it will regenerate okay so now we have a flyer that is one on brand because we've used the brand kit it's two has some great images that we've generated using um, the AI feature here in Adobe Express. And then we also made these super cute text effects to just kind of draw the eye in here to this flyer. So if you saw this hanging up on your work bulletin board or at a coffee shop, would you all look at it? Would you all I would take look at a it. second look at it? Hopefully that's the point. Okay, <laughs> so now that we have this, this is something that you can print off and hang out, hang up wherever you want to hang it up to help um, promote the sale that you're doing. But I want to take this even further. So one, I want to send this out in an email. Emails need to be a little bit more dynamic than just a flyer like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page and I'm going to duplicate this one. Since this is going out in an email, I have a little bit more control over what I want it to do because it's going to be a digital piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in and animate this. 
Mm-hmm. Um, animation is one of my favorite tools in Adobe Express because it just makes things a little bit more fun to look at um, and more fun to design yeah. as well, I think. Um, Tumble in is my favorite. And Thank then, you. <laughs> someone said it. Oh I my love gosh. Tumble in. Like, it's just unexpected. Tumble gets so much hate. <laughs> I love it. And then I also love like a little breathe. What I love here is you can kind of control what yeah. speed you want it. You can make it energetic. That's what we're going for is this like energetic look. Yes. Okay. And then we're going to tumble out as well. Nice. And yeah, and on this on this note about animation, um, uh, Becky asked, is there stuff that it does that we can't do in Illustrator? Animation is definitely one of those. Mm-hmm. And folks who do use Illustrator often bring their projects into Express to animate them, make them a little bit more dynamic and interactive before they like share it on social or something like that. So totally. that's just an example of something yeah, that Express like, has. You could have definitely designed this whole thing in Illustrator um, and then brought it in here for mm-hmm. animations for sure. So I'm just adding a few animations. They're all going to look a little bit different, which I think is really fun because it makes um, – the whole poster like come to life if everything's moving in just a little bit of a different way um this one's gonna fade in well yo-yo okay the yo-yo can be a little intense for me so let's turn it down a little bit um yeah and then animate out so i'll go ahead and play this and i love that it has this um player down here where you can see like exactly how Mm -hmm. long it is I know for certain ads on like YouTube and on Instagram your videos have to be a certain amount of seconds Um, so say you're creating a skippable ad somewhere it is 15 seconds so I can drag this out to be 15 seconds you can see down here okay now it's 18.3 seconds down here so you can play around with the timing of it and then from there you can see these guys animate in let me get this right so you can see it you can see it animate in Um, so all of them are moving a little bit differently really catches the eye on that sweater with the cactus (laughs) with the blinking Um, but what I love about this too is like I want them to come in on different times so I would just go down here to the show layer timing And then kind of play around with this. So this is our hero one. So I want it to come in first. And then our little hat can come in a little bit later. Our jacket can come in after that. Our sweater can come in last because it's, she's, she's vibrant. Okay. So I'm going to animate it and then you'll see, okay, they all come in at a little bit of a different time. They're all doing a little bit of a different thing. Um, yeah, and it just brings your eye to these things. I really hate this blink, so I'm going to have to change that or it's going to bother me later. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's really easy to, ch- to change. You just hit delete and then come back on here, and you can pick your other one, adjust the speed, and then we'll come back in and see mm-hmm. how it looks. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay. It really – it's – very eye-catching, we'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something that I would download and then maybe put in an email or I could send it out on Slack or wherever you're talking to your community. This is something that maybe um, that isn't social media. You could put this in and send it out to your crowd. But if you are thinking, hey, I want to put this on social media, there is a great option. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to resize this and we're going to resize it to all of these popular social media sizes. I love this because I don't I didn't know before using Adobe Express exactly what the sizes were for each of the different social medias, but this makes it super super easy. So, we have an Instagram square post, we have an Instagram story, um where else Facebook posts. I know a lot of businesses talk to their community on Facebook. And then I am also going to make it a Facebook ad because later on I want to put some paid money behind this and make it an ad. Um, So I'm just going to hit resize and then there we go. It sends it into all of these different sizes. So just as a recap, this is the original that we made. We put it together. It's a static image. Mm -hmm. Um, This is something that maybe we could print out and put on a bulletin board and then we turned it into an animation that we would add on to a... um, we would add on to a email or something. And then we put on 
we changed it in to social media styles. So this would be like an Instagram story, a square post, Inst- or Facebook ads, Facebook posts, so all of the different sizes. But we are definitely going to have to come in and resize some of these things. It does a really good job, but of course it's not perfect. We can easily go in here and add, make it perfect really easily. So just resizing this to fit all of the different requirements. Mm -hmm. Cool. While I do this, any questions from the chat? I saw a bunch come in, so... Yes, we have a bunch. Um, first thing, I see a lot of folks uh, putting in some feedback with their experience with Adobe Express. I We totally appreciate the feedback, and we're definitely going to take it back to the team. And thank you so much, Voodoo Val, for dropping in the user voice, which is actually the best place to leave any feedback, comments, concerns, questions of for Adobe Express. So definitely utilize that link and put um, your feature requests there. Um, and then... Let's see. Um, let's see what other questions we have. Um, no, that's a really great point about oh, yeah. the user feedback because I think that, you know, if we really want to make this product with our community and for our community, so if you do have feedback, like definitely mm-hmm. give it to us. And there is like a feature suggestions right, right. in the product too. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's up at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Up here are these two little boxes. Submit an idea. You can join our Discord community where there is a lot of conversations about this. You can report a bug. So, yeah, we really want to make this product the best it can be for you. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're wondering where are these boots, where are these jackets, it's just because I'm making the changes at the beginning of the animation. But if I come right. back here, you'll be able to see all of them. So um, I think I'm going to add in some of those graphics. So if we go back to our... Um, brand kit. Um, Like I said earlier, this was a file that I had downloaded from Adobe Stock. I licensed it on Adobe Stock and then had all of these graphics that I saved to my brand library and I could easily pull them in here. So now that we have a little bit of extra room, I am going to add these in. Mm -hmm. And again, that little link to asset thing right there means that it's linked from this, so if any updates are made here, they'll also appear in my linked asset, which is super nice. If any changes are made to the original, I will see them right away in Adobe Express. Okay, so I'm just going through here. I'm adding some more elements to make this full. Um, I had resized this from a flyer shape, so Mm -hmm. needing to just add a few graphics. I actually think we have some room um, for some more text to image if there was any other suggestions that we didn't get to so if you all have something that you want to see generated please let me know because we can generate that look at all this extra room we have Mm -hmm. for for generations um yeah so then I would just keep going adding in this one is pretty dang good when I resized it for this square post so I resized it from the flyer into the square post and I actually don't even think I have to do much here yeah because it did a really good job resizing it um which makes my life so easy um you can I saw that question about like an emailer oh yeah if you wanted to add this to your email so that's just another resize option you would come over here to the resize and you can make it like an email header and um, make sure you duplicate and resize so it doesn't mess up anything. And you can see that it is very different, the sizing um, for an email, but it mm-hmm. keeps all of your different um, aspects. So then you just come in here and resize everything to fit yeah. this email template. Right. Which is super easy. Mm-hmm. And it also gives you a second chance to even think about your design differently. Totally. Um, because when you started, this was for like a square post, but exactly. for something that's landscape, of course the layout and stuff is going to be a little different. So Yeah, and to that point, that's actually a really good point. We don't have to use the same flyer, right? right. Like we can start right. over. And the beautiful thing about that is let's do an email header. We'll just duplicate and resize. And then I'm just going to delete all of that because it was too much. (laughs) And I'm going to come over here into our templates. And I'm going to go to an email header. 
Okay, so these are all of the different options for an email header. Um, who was the one that asked the Becky. Becky. If you see any of them um, that you are interested in, let me know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And remember, we'll change this all to be on brand with what we need. So maybe let's do this one. And we'll add as a page so we can keep it in the same file. I'm going to delete this one since it added it as another page. Oh, this one was a two-pager. Oh. A two-page template. So it gives you two different options on what you want it to look like. Mm -hmm. But again, this is definitely not in brand. If you look at the other ones that we've been working on, they look super different. So we're going to have to essentially start over. But it's super easy to do so because all of our brand information is already saved. So we can come in here to this rectangle and easily fill it to one of our Billy Boutique brand colors. Um, they're all laid out here. Yeah. Um, this one is cute. And then same here with all of these rectangles. Like it's super easy because we've already set up this brand um, to just put in all of our colors. And then mm -hmm. again, we'll come in here and you do have access to some stock photos that you could use. Earlier we had generated um, some images, but say you want to do a stock image instead of generating an image. So let's do cowboy clothes. Yeah. And then we have some follow-up questions on that. Um, Becky asks, does, but does the original flyer export to use animation in constant contact? And the answer is, um, well, Ryan kind of answered it with exporting it as a GIF. Mm -hmm. There is a quick action on the home page. So what you would do on um, what Megan would do on her original video is to export it as an MP4, boot it back on the home page, and then convert it to a GIF. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be able to have the animation in the email. Yeah, that GIF tool is super easy to use. Mm -hmm. It's like a one clicker on the first page. Yes, and you can even choose the different size of the GIF too, because I know GIFs can get pretty large. Yeah. Um, so you can adjust that as well so it doesn't make your email lag. Uh, I see Trisha is asking what we're currently working on. Um, so let me give a recap uh, since <laughs> we're at about 940. So what we did is we started the project by um, coming into this flyer, starting to make a flyer for my boutique to market a sale that we're doing. We generated some images for this um, flyer because I didn't have any photos of my boutique's um, merchandise. So we generated these photos all in Adobe Express using Adobe Firefly. And then we also came into these words and we um, did a little text effect, which is another generative AI feature here in Adobe Express. Then we changed all of the colors and the fonts to match my brand style, looking at the brand that I've put together. And then from there, we resized it into some Facebook ads, into some Instagram story ads. And then now we did get a question on, can we make this into an email header? We tried to resize it and it maybe isn't working with this template. Um, to do an email header. So instead, we found a template that is geared towards uh, email headers. And all we're doing here is going in and adding in our brand colors to make it align with the other uh, advertisements that we've mm -hmm. created so far. Right, and if you are not necessarily looking for a header, you can also create the email graphic in itself. Um, you would just have to you know, make the, the length dimension or the height um, a little bit longer. And then you, if you want to make like parts of it clickable in whatever email builder you're using, you can definitely cut it up into chunks is how I would do it so that you can embed them in um, your email builder. OK, let's generate some stuff for this one, yeah? So chat, what should we generate here? We need another generation because, again, I don't have any yeah. photos of my boutique and the um, the product that I want to show. So what are some products that we could generate for this flyer of my boutique? Let's make it super fun <laughs> because we want people's eyes yes. to be catched. I, I saw that 
uh, let me scroll up chat. Um, Clever said, please reflect boots to toe in as Sean and Barbara suggest. Oh, Clever said, put a, put a star like a sheriff badge. Okay. Um, sure. And then they started singing the hokey pokey. Uh, in chat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, chat. Like a sheriff. Keeping it fun. Mm -hmm. Keeping things lively. Um, boots. Yeah. Sheriff badge on a pretty red dress. Let's see what that looks like. Please Photorealistic. We want our generations to be photorealistic because we are kind of using them as a substitute for photos. Voodoo Val asks, what about gift cards? Can we do gift cards? Gift cards on like Adobe gift Express. Cards. Yeah. Yeah, you can design. We can do anything. Gift cards, business <laughs> cards. Yeah. Cards. <laughs> okay. Let's do Western. Western dress. Raphael Ooh, said, red. a Christmas sweater? Too soon. What? Too soon. I feel like soon. it was Christmas yesterday. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> We're doing a western dress in red leather. That's not a dress. This looks <laughs> this looks like something from like a medieval like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why That's it's cute. super important to like have good um, prompts. Yeah, Clever said also bangle bracelets, bolo ties, bandanas. <gasps> bolo ties. How do you spell that? Bolo ties. B o l o. B o l o tie. Bolo tie. T i e s. I think that might be too short, but we'll see what it That's gets. That's okay. Sometimes if you don't add enough detail, it will um, not generate as fast. Okay, any other questions? While we're waiting, that is a What cake. is that? <laughs> that is a cake. Hold on. That is a cake. Bullshit. <laughs> hmm. Time. We did something wrong here. T-I-E. T-I-E. The lesson of this is that I cannot spell. <laughs> no, that's okay. This is how you get better. It's totally fine. Oh, my gosh. And typing in front of a live audience is different. It still did a cake. It's so different. I don't know why. It, it did a cake. That maybe, is so funny. Maybe Bolo's Bolo different. tie on a man. I don't know. I'm scared. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get on live Live demos, right? Google's other names for Bolo Tide. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, while we're figuring this out, make sure that you're oh. following. Okay, 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 okay. There you go. Make sure you're following us on YouTube. If you're not already subscribed and you're new here, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We mm -hmm. also have an Instagram where we are always posting different tutorials, not just on, oops, sorry, not just on Adobe Express, but on all of the Do Adobe products. It is getting fun in here. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to take this image. Oops. I'm going to take this image that we made of the bullet tie because I think that one is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Like, finally, we got something that we're looking for, not a cake. Um, and I'm just going to crop it. You can come in here and decide what is in the crop. And I'm just going to put it over this image. Okay, so that looks really nice. This is super cool because you can kind of see the difference here. Mm -hmm. This is a stock image. Like I mentioned, you have tons of different stock image options um, in Adobe Express. And then this is our generated image. So it's awesome because they both look very photorealistic and they both look like something that you could find at this Boat Geek. Okay, we need one more text to image for my boutique. What are we doing, chat? Um, let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh, Clever said Bandito burrito bags. Oh what my is that? Gosh. I don't know what that is. Let's do like pink cowboy leather purse. Let's see what that gives us. You can go crazy with Adobe Express and the generative <laughs> AI here. Like there is so many possibilities. Like I mentioned earlier, I think Express is one of those tools that once you dive in and start to learn all of the capabilities of it, you will be surprised mm -hmm. at like the creativity that you can accomplish on Adobe Express. Okay, this one's pretty good. Yeah. 
like it. I feel like the pink cowboy leather purse isn't that descriptive of a um, prompt, but it gave me like what I wanted. Yeah. So it is very a very good tool. Okay, I'm just gonna crop again. And line it up. And line it up. And then Jay, Renee, and Chat said mug. A mug. Okay. Haven't done a mug yet. We haven't done a mug. Let's do like a cactus mug. Mm-hmm. Mug with a cactus on it. And it's got to be in brand, so let's do like a purple mm-hmm. pink mug. I actually didn't realize that you were purposely choosing pink, purple, and red because of the brand. Yeah, sticking I with thought, the brand I was, colors. I was, I was like, oh, she really likes pink. I don't, which is funny, but I like it for this brand a lot. Oh, it makes so much sense Okay, now. I love it. I really like this one. That's so cute. But so I actually so kind of want it to look like like a little bit more of like a graphic. Uh-huh. Not as photorealistic. Yeah. Let's see what that does. So you can also change the style of all of your prompts, which is super fun. Again, another way to... Okay, I know this isn't what you were looking for, Jay, but how cute. Mm-hmm. How cute. A cactus in the mug. So cute. Have you seen that? I, I actually would love that. Like a little mug with a little cactus oh. in it. I would buy that at a boutique for sure. Okay, so I'm going to remove the background on this, but I actually really like this little curve right here. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to come into this erase tool instead. Make the size pretty small. Not that small. Small-ish. And then I just want to erase the outside of this circle so I can keep that purple circle, Mm -hmm. which was super easy. I did it in three clicks. Um, But now we have that cute little mug with the background. And that that color is on brand, so I like it. Okay. This is a super sale. Super spring sale. And this is the last thing we'll do um, before mm-hmm. we publish our flyers is I just want to really quickly make this a text effects. I liked that pink and purple sunflowers look. Purple sunflowers generate. We did this earlier um, for all of us that have been sticking around. We generated uh, text effects using pink and pink and purple sunflowers. And this is super cute because you can see that it turned all of these letters into <gasps> little sunflowers. How cute is it's that? So cute. So cute. And it was super simple and easy. Okay. If I was scheduling this, I would obviously go through and change all of this. Maybe I would add here a graphic or my logo if I had a logo again if anyone in chat wants to design a logo for my Billy boutique brand I will (laughs) post it on Adobe Live's Instagram if you design it for me so tag us if you design something um yeah so I'll just add in something from my graphic here of course if I was actually doing this for my brand and sending this out on an email I would keep going change all of this information but before we go I want to show how we can schedule this so we have made this we had taken it from our flyer resized it into a square post for Instagram Mm -hmm. um, added the animations and so now I need to actually post this on Instagram so I'm gonna go over here to the share it's super easy and then I'm just gonna click Instagram I am already attached to the Adobe Live community (laughs) Instagram but obviously (laughs) this would be your Instagram I'm not gonna post there maybe later if you design me a if you design (laughs) me a logo I will post it but super simple you can type in your caption here, even a first comment. You can schedule for later or publish now. Um, and you can see once it uploads, you'll get a little bit of a preview of what that looks like. You can even decide if you want this to be a story instead of an actual post. Um, you can post that there. You know what, chat? I will post this after the uh, <laughs> after the stream so make sure you go like it and comment on it but yeah that's all I have for you today uh, I am available on the Adobe live Instagram if you have any questions feel free to ask them there and yeah what else we got going yeah. on today Katrina 
Um, so stick around for the rest of the stream. We have Isabel Poirier as she uses text to image and text effects as well to create posts for social media for um, celebrating Women's History Month and all in Adobe Express. Yay, more Gen AI. So <laughs> fun. Everyone give her prompts because it will be much more fun with your ideas. Yes, and also this was Megan's first demo on stream, so it big is. round of applause to her. You did such an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you all for being <laughs> here with me and for giving me your ideas, and yeah, it was super fun. Awesome. Thanks so much, y'all. Thanks, everyone. Stick around. <laughs>
Hello everyone and welcome back to Adobe Live. I'm so happy to be here at in San Francisco Adobe Live HQ. We're going to have a fun quick sesh in Adobe Express today. And oh yeah, I should introduce myself. I'm Izzy, brand designer from Ottawa, Canada. Let's dive right in. So today we will be working in uh, Adobe Express, as I mentioned, and we will be designing some fun animated stories for Women's History Month. So here, if you go to Adobe Express, you can, I'm going to do start from scratch, uh, uh, Instagram stories. And I have prepared some fun quotes for, for today. So I have here, just I'm going to put that a little bigger so you can see. I have a few, so in the chat, please let me know which one you would like me to work on first. So I have gold, uh, sorry, queen of getting things done, which I love, goal digger, <laughs> not bossy, just a boss, serving sass with a side of bad, you can fill in the blank, <laughs> grit with width, sneakers over glass slippers, I love that one. Uh, too glam to give a damn, and breaking ceilings, not nails. So if is there one that you would really like me to work on, please let me know in the chat. And I actually think, talking about the chat, I see Voodoo Val, I see Clever Dev Lynn, I see General, I, I saw Jack, Renee, Drew, so good to see you here. All right, I'm gonna start with Goal Digger because I think we can do a lot of fun stuff with this. So here, back in, Adobe Express, I'm going to use the text tool. Add your text, copy, paste, gold digger. Going to make that a little bigger. And here it's really fun because we have some fonts that are recommended and we can see what it looks like. But I want to add a lot of pizzazz to these stories. So I'm actually going to go here and I made some choices ahead of time and I really like this font. It's called Heavy, or sorry, it's 8 Heavy. Now here, if we look at the text layout, I was playing with that and I found Dynamic. Dynamic makes it really fun because it's readjusting your text to the text box. For example, it's hard to see with this. So I'm just gonna use a longer quote, maybe this one so you can have a better look. And see how it's adjusting the text within the box. It's uh, basically making it the same width on every corner. So just going to go back here with gold digger. It's not. Here you go. And I want to be applying a nice style to that. So let me go to text effect at the bottom. And I think that we can do some fun stuff here. So because here in, it's basically remixing the expression that we know gold digger, but instead it's gold. So let's add a little bit of gold drip here. Let's see what that looks like. Sometimes we need to wait a little bit for everything to show up. And this is already looking super fun and we have some results at the bottom. And what I like whenever we do a text to effect it, I personally like to start from something that already exists, but then I can actually go back here into the prompt box and then I can change. So here I see yellow, shiny, gold, metallic, rendered, realistic, drip, gooey slime. I don't necessarily want gooey slime, but I do want a 3D effect. So let's see what we can do here. And I don't want yellow. I really want a like nice gold. So what could we say here? Like expensive? Let's see if it understands that. Let's see what that does and generate. And also, while this is loading, I want to say that if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the Adobe Live channel on YouTube and also check out Instagram at Adobe Live to stay up to date to all of the updates. 
there's a lot happening on Adobe Live, so <laughs> it's definitely something you should check almost every day, I'd say. <laughs> All right, so here it is thinking. I'm not happy with that one. Let's try this one. And while it does this, I know that I want to have a background color. I really love black for everything. It's just so clean. And I think it really elevates that 3D effect that we have with that text effect. Now, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. And what I look, love to add to this is an animation. So let's exit the text effect. And we can click here on animation. I love the looping one because I don't have to repeat it and it's it just keeps moving. And I think for a story, that's really fun. And I really like the jitter. I think the jitter, I mean, obviously I'm gonna like that because as a coffee drinker, because I feel like I always have the jitters. <laughs> but I kind of like that it's moving, but not too much. See what I mean here? Perfect. This is a little too long for my taste, specifically for a story, so I'm just gonna put it down to maybe three seconds. Here you go. All right. I mean, okay, so now we have this, but it's definitely missing a little bit of context. So the, the context for the stories is basically a reel. It could be also a story to send to um, a powerful friend, woman that you like, especially for Women History Month. So I'd say here that we need to add a call to action. So I'm going to go back to text here, add text. And again, if you know me, I basically use Elsa text for everything. It is an Adobe font. And I just love how it looks. So here I'm going to write tag a queen because we are all queens. So tag a queen with an exclamation mark. And let's make that bold, just so it has more punch. And then at the bottom, again, giving it some context, we will add Women History Month. That's a little big. And there you go. I personally like it like this. I love a good minimalistic design. Please let me know what you think in the chat. But I think that we can also add like a background layer. So again, using text to image, let's go to media. And what could be a good background for gold digger? So to me, it's someone that works really hard. So how about we have I'm going to do portrait here, an office, creative office space with piles of work, um, pile, not pill, <laughs> that's not going to be the same result. Um, uh, and then we can say modern looking photo generate. Let's see what that does. All right, this is not colorful enough, so let's add some color. Colorful. There you go. And this is just to add context to the whole story. See here, I think this is more the vibe that we are looking for. So I'm just going to expand that. Like, so I love that there's even works on the bottom here. <laughs> going to put my layer down. And there's definitely a con um, conflict of readability here. There's too much going on, but we can go, we can actually exit the text to image and go right here and play with the opacity. Because we have that black background, we can 
it's it's already like in the right color in order to do that. I mean, if it was another color, we can definitely change it. Let's just see. Custom. So we can go nuts. It doesn't have the same reading, <laughs> but it's definitely something that you can play with. All right, so let's see how this animation looks like. Let's play. Perfect. The idea for that reel was to have a lot of them and in different settings. So I'm going to repeat that same style, but um, different quotes with different, different text uh, effects. So we'll do a add scene. We can already shorten it to three seconds. And there's one quote that I absolutely loved, and it was breaking ceilings, not nails. So I'm going to be doing this. And actually, I will be copying everything from this story over to this, because then we can work very efficiently, specifically for keeping the same style. Then this is efficient working. And you know I'm all about efficient work. So now that I'm seeing this, I mean, the text to uh, effect does not work. So I'm going to change that, making sure it's highlighted, text effect. And I want to be, because it's about not breaking nails, I want to see if we can have maybe some nail polish. So nail polish drip pearl color uh, 3D. Let's see what that does. And whenever we're working with AI, it's always about experimenting and just checking out like the, the results. And that is totally OK. Here we're having a bit more of a holographic. Let's see if I can have maybe white pearl, white pearl, generate. If I was not by myself right now, I would do the dance whenever we, <laughs> I mean, I can, I can do it. I usually have a dance whenever we wait for the, the prompts to show up. Um, but right now, dancing by myself feel, feels a little weird. Maybe I should just drink more coffee. All right. So this is looking good, but again, we're not necessarily getting the same vibe. So how about here we have some high rise for the text to image so we can do because we're in San Francisco. How about this San Francisco high rise urban city and let's see what that does. The wait. Jackson says, <laughs> text effects dance party. Maybe we should have a reel with all of the Adobe folks when it's text effects wait dance. <laughs> that could be fun. So someone really smart called Phil Palin told me that um, it's good to never take the first option when we generate something in AI. So I'm not going to do this despite these being really cool. I think I think I like this one. And if we just go back, it definitely has the effect that I want. But how about because we are in dynamic uh, text layout, I'm going to do nails like this on its own, breaking ceilings. Like so, just because we want to have the nails as the focus. And because I've actually copied everything, what I love about this is that it's already kept the animation. So if I go back, I can just have a look at everything. And it has that like nice transition already. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing again. I love that tag a queen. <laughs> actually, this would be the right moment to ask who is a queen that you would like to tag on the chat? Who would you like to celebrate 
during Women History Month? Let me know. I want to get to know them, research them. And even if it's a friend, that is totally okay. And we, we should celebrate everyone. Okay. Another quote that I really like is too glam to give a damn. So let's do that. And I had a funny idea for that one. Definitely channeling my inner Kim Kardashian. <laughs> or maybe I should say um, Kylie Jenner. <laughs> because I was thinking, have lip gloss as a texture. So how about we do pink lip gloss. Um, shiny drip. And let's see what that does. Generate. And I wonder what could be the background for that. Okay, this is already cool. Maybe, I don't know if it's un gonna understand translucid. Translucid. Translucid is when it's not fully opaque, but you can still, it's not transparent. It's kind of in the middle. So let's see if it understands that word. I mean, it does have that shiny that I was looking forward to. Perfect. And again, that dynamic tool is so cool because we can just reshape everything on its, like, very quickly without thinking about it. That's what I love the most about Express is that there's so much that is already done for you that you don't have to go crazy and tr like, trying to figure it out. All right, and what can we do as a background for that one? Um, how about New York? New York is known for a fashion city, so New York City fashion show. Um, colorful clothing. Let's see. Let's see what it does. And I can see Voodoo Val saying, I would like to celebrate Megan Billy in honor of of the great demo she did earlier and her fab work. Yes, love that. Yay. Oh, and Megan is in the chat too. Love it. All right. Oh, I mean, this one is super fun. I know I said don't go for the first one, but this one is too perfect. And again, I always like to check the progress whenever I'm designing something like this. The jitter. I mean, I don't know, but this is fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay, so going to do the same here. Copy. How about not bossy, just the boss? I feel like I can resonate a lot with that one because when I became my own boss personally, that's something that I was a little worried about when you're not used to, like I was always working under someone. And then when I freelanced, I had to basically take ownership of a lot. Um, and that was like an interesting transition, which I'm still learning. I mean, it's normal to still learn. And um, I'm gonna do view all for that one because I think it would be fun to explore. Pink glitter. Um, but you need, you're basically, you're working together with the clients, but like they are technically the boss, but so are you because you're the boss of yourself. So it's like something that uh, when you need to put your limits and you need to learn to communicate efficiently, there's a lot uh, to learn. So this one would is definitely for me. I'm not bossy, I'm just the boss. And I just have, I have a to-do list that I need to get through. And if there's some freelancers in the house, let me know if you feel the same. So this is not necessarily doing it for me. I feel like something like fuzzy. 
Um, oh, this one is fun. Let's see what that does. I'll just make that again to three seconds. Okay, this is cool. And let's see if we can go back and maybe edit it a little bit. So that's soft pink peony petals. Let's do, um, actually, we have some more options right here. So to me, there's a lot of texture, maybe a little too much compared to the rest of what we have. Ah, oh, Annika, thank you so much. <laughs> She's tagging me for Women History Month. I mean, I'm tagging you right back, Annika. Thank you. Okay, this is fun. And then, again, go back to text to image. And for this one, I'd say a conference room in an agency. High ceilings and windows. And I want to say colorful because I don't like the beige, right? Who likes beige? Colorful. Every time I'm typing something on Adobe Live because I know everyone's looking, I get so nervous. I'm not the best uh, grammar. <laughs> All right. So I can see that we have three minutes left. This is great. And I mean, I have worked on this ahead of time and I'm going to show you the full animation for this. Let me go back and show you the full result, just like how fun it can be with this. I have sound for this too. So actually I can maybe show you after how to add sound. So this here, I have made them all separately as you can see. And then I actually added them into one full reel, which you can see right here. So fun, right? All right, so in order to add the sound, it's super easy. You would go here into media and then audio and then you would you can actually listen to a lot of different sounds and I have chosen it was it was break beat a beat but it can be whatever and you can just select it and then it's added and then it's there like so all right, well, this was super fun. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And stay tuned for Cameron Davis as he shares how some stunning motion posters featuring inspirational phrases and witness the magic un uh, as it unfolds. And Ca Cameron can utilize combination of Adobe Fresco, Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, and brings his like vision to life. Stay tuned, everyone, and thank you. Thank you.